Daily Message, May 28th, 2024. Have you ever considered the fact that Jesus did not wave his hand over the crowd or speak forth over the crowd to heal those in need of healing? Rather, he healed people on an individual basis as they were brought or came to him, as written in Luke 4, verse 40. At sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. As they called out to him, as did the blind beggar, who called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. As his robe was touched, as written in Mark 5, verse 34, whereby Jesus said to the woman, who had been bleeding for twelve years, and had been healed by touching his robe, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace, and be freed from your suffering. In each case, those who were healed had recognized the condition they were in and had taken ownership in the healing process by choosing to be made well by seeking Jesus out. In so doing, Jesus did not rob them of their free will, just as he did not rob the man who had been ill for 38 years at the pool at Bethesda by healing him without first asking, Do you wish to get well? As was all of Jesus' life, his methodology with respect to healing is an example for us, especially for those who have a loved one caught up in the thralls of addiction. All of one's effort will be for naught if that person does not recognize his or her condition and take ownership in the healing process by choosing to get well, just as is the case with repentance, that is, One must recognize one is a sinner, choose to turn away from one's sins, and come to Jesus, such that one might be made well. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.